What's going on guys? I'm eating some soup, some spiced lentil. It is some spiced lentil soup. I'm enjoying it very much. Thank you for asking. And today we're jumping into another episode of the Make Money Make a Videos podcast, full podcast link down below. Today's episode is talking about and discussing Fiverr. Personally, I've never made it even a penny on Fiverr in my life, but I'm discussing with one of my guests on the Make Money Make a Videos podcast, Master ETH, who has made some money on Fiverr. And uh, we're going back and forth talking about the pros, talking about the cons, and talking about some uh, horror stories, actually, that uh, have transpired over on Fiverr. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Welcome back to the Make Money Making Videos podcast. Either one of us is right. If anything, you're right, right for, for following all the rules. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> there have been so many people on like Fiverr yeah. who have been like, hey, can you do this for exposure? And I'm like, I'm sorry, sir, but the TOS says I can't do it unless I get paid. And they're like, okay, have a nice day. And that's it. <laughs> See, that's <laughs> so that's like, oh. the number one thing why I love Upwork yeah. so much is I've never had any, like people wouldn't have the audacity to, to ask mm. you to do. Like that's, that's a little yeah. confusing because Fiverr, Tell me a little about Fiverr. What's the pros? What's the pros? Well, it's weird because what I thought was that you get paid $5. Yeah. But they've transitioned into like a service yeah. platform instead. Because everybody's like, you. I thought Fiverr was like, oh, if somebody records a video, you pay them to say something stupid, you know? But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's actually a lot more than that. I was quite surprised. Yeah. Uh, it's it's interesting it's different than upwork because with fiber basically people come to you like there's i i don't think there's a way to actually like advertise mm. maybe if you get listed as like a verified person or something i'm not sure it's mostly like reputation on that site yeah that's like what if you I've have a lot well. of good five star reviews yeah that's, that's why i'm listed as like professional five star video editor on fiber because like nobody else is listed as that so then that gives me a little bit more standout exposure you know yeah yeah it's creating your own kind of search result for it mm -hmm. almost yeah but i don't think anybody should just be on fiverr i have it as like another avenue to find people basically yeah yeah Um, yeah. i I mean it's it's pretty funny because like there's people killing on fiverr you can go on there and you can see there's people mm -hmm. who you know they offer a service so it's like a, a youtube intro you can come here you can pay them you know, ten dollars, and they make the YouTube intro. If you pay them twenty dollars, yeah. they add some music to it. Like, there's a couple different versions that mm-hmm. you can get, type of thing like that. You see people with thousands of orders. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. they've created one basic thing that they can replicate a bunch of times, and then people have obviously just come to them, um, and then they just you know spend the day. They might make ten of the same thing. They're just using the template, and then you know popping the text <coughs> in there, or whatever the case may be, which is yeah. kind of like the main thing that I see. Which the automation side is very attractive, but it's not that it's mm-hmm. not the same where you can be proactive like if i wanted to be really proactive today i could get mm-hmm. a client by the end of today on upwork you know if i wanted to be like yeah hey, no I'm, i get that i'm gonna apply i'm gonna talk to them on a boo boo and i would get a client by the end of the day fiverr it's like let me make this posting but now let me sit here and kind of just wait yeah. for them to come to me which mm-hmm. that has always turned me off which I, i've never oh, delved yeah. in um because of that sense where i it's not in my hands i got no control over the situation almost hmm. it's kind of do right. it and wait all about control no i'm kidding well eh, i don't know but the thing is with like fiverr there's actually a couple things yeah i do yeah. actually have a horror story from fiverr <laughs> share share all your fiverr information because i'm very interested to get okay cool time fiverr. to look at my fiverr points yeah um, that's soon i have it it's so bad that i listed twice on here for some reason unless there were i think it was two no wait mm-hmm. that was once anyways so it this was so stupid because this this guy came to me he's like yo do you watch gary v yeah he's like okay i want to make an instagram i want you to make an instagram post kind of thing with captions i'm like okay cool so that took me about like an hour or so yep yep and then i did it yeah and it was good and then i sent it to him and then it said on fiverr that customer requests revisions and i'm like what yeah. And so I look at this and he's like, uh, the video is too small. <laughs> and I'm like, he means ten, the, the square, what? you made it square or whatever. Yeah. 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 You're and, right. We're replicating what so he sent you. Yeah. For the, and so for the past hour or two, yeah. I, it, it led me to having a mental breakdown because I exported it in like six different resolutions and yeah, it just yeah, yeah. didn't change. At all. Really? And so I had to refund the guy because it's like, I don't know what else to do here. This has never happened before. I deeply apologize saying that 
You, this you has never happened. It? You exported it in different resolutions, or did oh, you yeah, change but, the but composition? No, I just changed the resolution because no, you no, would no, think no, that no, that no. would make it. No, no. Did you change the resolution on the export though, or the? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. You need to change it on the composition. No, wait, no, I did, though. Actually, oh, okay. no, I remember. Right, right, right. No, right, 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 yeah, no, I... Yeah, no, I did. Okay, yeah. I, yeah, I did everything in my yeah, power, yeah. basically. Painful. Like, I, I would have done that, yeah. Painful, 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 painful. I, dude, it's painful when it's some stuff just, like this happens. So, so yeah. he wanted you to do it. You thought you did it to the best of your ability. And I he then did. said it's not I, the right settings, uh, not the right was, resolution. It was so stupid because on my end, it looked perfect. Mm. But when I sent it to him... It didn't look good on his phone. And I'm like, that's it. The phone. Yeah, I know. I know this, right? But I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you going to communicate that? There's really no and way. And he's like, well, it doesn't look like this one. And I'm like, it was so obnoxious. It was so obnoxious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that so was one. That was one. That was actually my first refund. Yeah. And, yeah, then, yeah. I, <laughs> and then a more recent uh, Fiverr story yeah. happened. Uh I swear, all of these are from Fiverr. Fiverr isn't a bad platform. It's just the people that come to me, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I don't um, know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, stop. No, you can't it, say it. anything. You, <laughs> I know, I'm just throwing negative bias <laughs> against it. No, it's just, I found the most interesting people on Fiverr, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, but yeah, there was another one that, uh, shoot, really? Are you going to forget it as soon as you bring it up, Ethan? Really? Of course. <laughs> I feel you, bro. This shit happens to me, man. Seriously. Jesus Christ. Oh, my like, I, felt, I felt it losing my brain as I was trying to introduce it to him. It was so you, you just got to keep it coming and then it comes back to you. I forgot, I forgot my whole point on the, on the last podcast yeah. I did halfway through. Yeah. I, I don't know what I was talking about, but I forgot. And I just had to sit there for like 10 seconds. Mm. And like it, in my head, it seemed like 30 seconds. But then when I watched it back, I was like, <laughs> I could tell the point where I forgot my point. And oh, yeah. I returned sure. to the point 10 seconds later. And mm. it was only about yeah. a five to 10 second pause. Like, not even a pause. Yeah. I was just sort of like, hold on, mate. Give me a second. <laughs> Um, it was. I, yeah, I just yeah. remembered. It was about a prank video that Boom. somebody wanted. There you go. It always comes back. So, oh yeah. So basically, this guy wanted a prank video. This was the one client where it's like the messaging later. Yep. And in this event was just terrible. Yeah. And I had to ask yeah, several yeah, yeah. questions. Uh, so basically, like I did everything he said. I thought it was okay. You know, this could be a good, consistent client. It's not a lot of work, but hey. You know, consistent income. I'm fine yep. with that. Yep. Um, and so I did it and I get this revision request. He's like, Hey, uh, is this isn't is he or no, actually I remember the words. He's like almost perfect. Do this one last thing. And then I do the one last thing for four more times because apparently I just couldn't get it right. Mm. Even though it was because of communication. It's like, wait, what does he mean? So I had to read it over like 10 times. And I'm like, oh, I think I know what he means. And then I did it. Yep. And then he went silent. Oh, my God. And just and stopped putting <laughs> you back. Yeah. Wait. Woo. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. after a while. I and I that. thought I thought it was like, okay, well, he's probably busy. Yeah. And this is bad because, like, I was going to spend uh, the night at my friend's house, like, the next day. Yeah. So the next day at my friend's house, I look at my phone and and he just, he's like, this isn't what I wanted. And he was requesting a refund and it was just like, holy shit. And so I was, I just accepted the refund because I was so done at that point. Mm. I'm like, I just can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is obnoxious. And it was. I've had a lot of mental breakdowns. Yeah, dude, believe me. <laughs> Ever since I started freelancing, I've had more mental breakdowns than I had when I was at my janitor job. Sounds like you it's... need to communicate more. Dude. Like, <laughs> sounds like you need to just communicate. I try. I really do. No, I can tell. I can tell. But get in the call, bro. Every single person. Promise me that, that you will not go in a single, you will not enter into a single client <laughs> freelancer relationship yeah. without talking to them first. Make this promise fair, on the this, make this money. This was make before. Podcast. To be fair, this was before I heard your advice too. Okay. So because this okay. was from a while ago. This wasn't like super recent, but it was like yeah, yeah, yeah. past like month ish. 